Hello and welcome back to another video with oh, What Time. My name's Paul Marriott and today we're going to have a look at four launchers with the words Sideload and Launcher in their name. We've got Sideload Launcher, we've got Sideload Channels Launcher, we've got Sideload Channel Launcher and we've got Sideload Channel Launcher too. Confused? Well, let's clear it up in just a minute. Let's get stuck in. What time? We'll overtake time. So we're going to be having a look at four APKs here, apart from the fact that they've got side load and launcher in their names. They are quite different in the way that they work. Yes, they're all used to launch side loaded apps on your Nvidia Shield or whatever device you're using. One of these apps is free and the other three are paid for. And believe me, you get what you pay for. So in reverse order and working up to which the one that we consider the best, in fourth place and in third place, we couldn't decide which order to put these two in, so we'll call it fourth equal. The first of which we'll talk about is a side load launcher. So the first one on our list has been around for a while. It used to be our go-to launcher for side loaded apps. Side load launcher. Pros. Simple, quick, well quickish and free of course. When we open it, the first con you see is this silly little uh, you have to wait for it to unfold, uh, all this to go up, blah 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 and then there it is. Obviously the more apps you've got the longer it takes. Verdict. Two stars. Does the job okay. Let's come out of that. Side load channels. Side load channels launcher. Okay, not to be confused with the similarly, similarly named Side Load Channel Launcher. Okay, so Side Load Channels. Useful for putting channels on the ATV home screen. ATV being the Android TV home. Extremely limited. Not very configurable. Yes, you can add in multiple channels. You can edit the channel and change the name of it. You can change the icon from a limited amount of icons. You can change the color of the icon. Or you can delete the channel. Okay. On the tiles themselves, you can move or remove. Those are the only options. And then you can add tiles. Navigate to the app you want to add. And press enter. There it is. As I say, extremely limited, um, not very configurable. You c you can reorder the tiles within a row, but you can't reorder the rows. You can't move one row up to the next. So as I say, limited. Cost-wise, I think it's a bit of a rip-off. You can do you can spend your money better elsewhere. Of course in its favour you do you can put channels on your home screen so home screen we've got them down the bottom there and if so you can then reposition it anywhere with your home screen blah 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 our verdict spend your money elsewhere two stars so let's move on to our next one. Side load channel. Side load channel launcher. Now for a long time this one was our favorite launcher. Side load channel launcher. The original one, this one cost me, uh, I think it was 99 pence just, just about nine months ago, 10 months ago when I first got it, uh, when the shield first changed over to Oreo. In its favor, pros, it can be used as a standalone configurable launcher in its own right. Um, another pro is that it can be used to put channels on your NVIDIA Shield standard ATV home screen. Another pro, you can use custom tiles as you can see. I've made my own custom tiles. I've used some tiles from a, an icon pack and some of them are even URLs. Tile position is configurable within a row but the rows themselves can't be moved up and down. That's a con. 
uh, difficult to configure, not very easy, not very user friendly, I have to admit. And the other big con which I had a problem with was when you have um, tiles configured to URLs, which was a great thing to have, they could the whole thing could be broken if, or if the restall, restored configuration contained URLs in them. Verdict. Good value for money. Four stars. Our number one position. Our number one position goes to Sideload Channel Launcher 2. Let's go into that. Now this one is our favourite for a number of reasons. It's a paid app, again, from the same developer as Sideload Channel Launcher. Uh, but it's altogether much more refined. Up an updated version of the previous one. You can see our fuller review up here in the top right hand corner. Click on that. Pros. Channels for NVIDIA Shield as we have on the previous version and also can be used as a standalone launcher which you see here. Much easier to use, much more configurable. Rows can move, be moved up and down very, very easily. Um, Tiles within the row can be moved left to right easily. Tiles for tiles, you can use included icons, you can use icon packs, you can use your own images, and as with the previous version, you can use URLs. Cons. Very little against it, actually. A lot of the things that we originally criticized it for when we first reviewed it have been fixed by the dev. Well done to the dev. Verdict, five stars. So how do you launch your side-loaded apps? What launcher do you use? Tell us in the comments down below. So please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It means a lot to us. Don't forget to ding that bell. Get notifications when we put out the next video. Thanks for staying with us till the end, and we'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Toodle pip!